Hi everyone, so it's been a while. So I figured I kind of just want to roll out the videos. So, so I've been trying to learn more about Notion Formula 2.0 and then just kind of a lot of things like overwhelming and then kind of don't really have the time. So I was thinking just that instead of me learning and just not doing anything, so I just kind of post videos like based on what I learned like for today and the next day. So for today, like I want to kind of walk through on map. So on how it's kind of like a replacement for relation and roll up and then how I can do a lot of more things. But of course, I'm still kind of learning. So if you want to know, want to learn more, actually, you can go to Thomas Frank video, which I'm actually learning from him. Like he has actually very detailed uh, explanation. But for mine, it's going to be like a series that I'm going to break down. It's like, you know, what's going to run today, the next one, next one, next one. So yeah, let's get into it. So for a map, so basically this is, there's this new function here. It's called map. So let me just explain a bit more on the database itself. So we have these two database. So we have this Pokemon database. Basically, we have Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur, and then their evol evolution. So Charmeleon, Waterzo, and Ivysaur. So this is just text. And then we have this database called Search. So basically, this is where we kind of type in the formulas itself. So just re let me remove this, then I kind of show you. Okay, so here we still have our standard relation properties. So this kind of we need to just make sure that it's connected to database. And then next is where we can have start using map instead of Traditionally, we'll be using something maybe called rollout properties, but instead of using rollout, we we'll just use formula. So how it works is that, so we just maybe kind of replicate how can we can we get rollout right. So first, you can use this formula. Uh, you can just select prop Pokemon first. So let's just select Pokemon right. So what happened is that it actually acts similar like a relation. So basically, I'm getting the relation for uh, Pokemon. So what we can do with this right. So there are a lot of things you can do, but for now, from what I learned, so you kind of can arrange the order. So one thing is can arrange is that, so Notion introduced this uh, method functionality. So basically just can use dot and then you can use sort. So if you can see here, you automatically just sort out the sequence. So this one is by alphabet, so B, C, S. And then you can even do like, I uh, think reverse order. So it should start with, um, Squirtle, Charmander, Bubble Sword. So there are a lot of things you can kind of do. You can even do, for example, if I just remove this, if I just want to show the first result, right? So you can do split. So split is another new formula introduced by Notion. So basically, we select Pokemon. So this is basically our selections, right? They call it like a list or an array. So I only wanted to show, or not split, it's actually slice. Wrong. So basically, I can select I only one from zero to two. So what would happen is that you only show me Charmander and Bulbasaur. So only the first two. And then if I want to show three of them, you can just put three. And then if I just want to show one, so you can just put zero to, I think just zero. No. Yeah, kind of still learning. Okay, just zero to one. So that's kind of how it works like. So you can use slice formula to kind of reorder it. And then next is that we can actually have roll up here. So how roll up works is that let me just select Pokemon again, and then just dot map. So this is kind of a roll up replacement. On the kind of replacement, another alternative that actually lets you do even more powerful things that we're gonna go down the lines. Ah, uh, the next day the other. So for now we can use map. So just current. So what this will show is it's basically just show the same thing again. So what map does is that it helps you to kind of find. So if I use dot right, so it automatically helps you to select the things that I want to interact with to roll up. Oh, I didn't really even realize they can actually have like created by created time. But let's say for example, it's like evolution right. So what happened here is that instead of showing the names, it's actually showing Charmeleon, Iris, or Water though. So this is kind of how it's actually roll up. Uh, it's working. So yeah. So that's it for today. So I'm going to kind of uh, explain more again tomorrow, expand more and more a little bit as I learn along the ways. So as for now, this is kind of what I've learned. Thank you.